The trial is wrapping up. R. Kelly's federal trial in Chicago is coming to a close. The federal government says uh, that they will be finished presenting their case against R. Kelly, Darrell McDavid, and Milton Brown either today, which is Tuesday, or tomorrow, which is Wednesday, uh, the 31st. So the defense team will take over. And I think uh, Jennifer said she needed two days for the defense. McDavid said he needed two days. And Milton Brown said he needed a half a day. Um, they said that way back at one of the teleconferences. And um, I think we could be getting a verdict by next Thursday or Friday. Based on what they say, we might get a verdict before that. But I say by next Thursday or Friday, we probably have a verdict in this case. Um, Judge Lineweber said from the start, this wasn't going to be a long trial. We're going to get it done in four weeks um, because they need the courtroom for another trial that's coming up. And so he wasn't going to dilly-dally. Um, he liked to move things along. And he did. He moved this case along. Um and the accusers were so terrible, too. Oh, my God. The accusers were so terrible in this case. Um, I feel like in New York, um, the accusers were more rehearsed than the ones that we saw in Chicago. I don't feel like they spent as much time rehearsing them in Chicago as they did in New York. Um, and you could tell because yesterday we had minor number five, uh, Simna. Ja Jameson, minor number five, a.k.a. Simna Jameson. That's her real name, Simna Jameson. And she took the stand and she was completely rude and disgusting. Uh, she went by the name Pauline. She was supposed to go by the name Pinky. But because the fans figured out who she was on social media, they decided to give her another fake name to throw us off track. But we figured out who she was by her testimony. The moment they started asking her about what she said in 2008 at the trial, we already knew it was Simna Jameson. But anyway, Simna Jameson uh, was asked a question to say, what age did you start having sex with R. Kelly? She said, having sex or sucking dick? Because sucking dick and fucking is two different things. And I sucked his dick about 80 times before we started fucking. I said, oh my God. Oh, my God. You can tell she's a ratchet bitch. You can tell they didn't rehearse her. They could not have rehearsed her. Because there's no way that she went on there talking about sucking dick and fucking and saying it in such a crass manner. Um, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Doesn't she understand that the jury is going to judge her as a dirty whore, which I'm I'm all fine for the jury judging her as a dirty whore because I want R. Kelly acquitted, and I think they're all dirty whores. But it seems to me that the federal government did not do a thorough job rehearsing their witnesses in Chicago like they did in New York. I feel like in Chicago they were more um, prepared the liars, the liars that took the stand against R. Kelly in New York were more prepared. They, they were well rehearsed, but not in Chicago. They showed their true colors on the stand. You had Charles Freeman. You got Roshana Mama. You got Roshana. You got all these people coming up there acting a monkey fool. And don't get me started on that dumb whore Tracy Sampson, a.k.a. minor number four. She took the stand yesterday and Jennifer asked her, well, you said you met R. Kelly in 1999, but when you sued him, it said you met him in 2000. And all communication with you and R. Kelly shows that you met him in 2000 when you were of legal age. And she keeps saying, no, it was 1999 to say the lawsuit said you met him in 2000. Your friends had sworn affidavits saying that you met him in 2000. You were of legal age and she kept trying to lie and 
you know, fake cry and tell Jennifer, you need to stop being mean to me. And I'm like, look at this Paul, you dirty whore. Nobody told you to come up here and try to be in a federal case, bitch. You filthy fucking whore. I'm so sick of these people. I swear to God, if R. Kelly does not get a not guilty verdict, we know it's because the jurors already had their mind made up. It's no way you can sit in this courtroom and listen to all the crap that these people have said over the past couple of weeks and think that R. Kelly is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Roshana was not a slam dunk. Especially Roshana's mama. Roshana's mama was not a slam dunk. She was not. These people thought that Roshana was going to get up there and bury R. Kelly. She did not. She didn't get up there calling him a son of a bitch and, oh, my God, I feel this and, oh, my God. No. She was saying, yeah, I was cool with him until 2019. Yeah, I texted him. I loved him. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's where are the victims? Where are the victims? I felt worse about New York than I did about Chicago. I really don't think he's getting convicted on all counts in Chicago. But if he does, it's because they wanted to convict him from the start. And they said, hey, we don't like him and we're just going to convict him. But if they're a fair jury, they have to acquit R. Kelly, McDavid, and Brown of all counts. All of them. All of them should be acquitted. All of them should be acquitted. Now, when the defense takes over, especially McDavid's defense, he doesn't need to take the stand. I know they said McDavid was going to take the stand, but McDavid need to stay the fuck up off that stand because he's going to fuck it up for everybody. Every one of these, every one of the, the defendants, R. Kelly, McDavid, and Brown, needs to stay the fuck up off that stand. Because they're going to have to be cross-examined. When did you meet this? When did, who, who gave money to who? And McDavid's going to point fingers at R. Kelly. And then if R. Kelly takes the stand, he's going to have to point fingers at McDavid. And it's just going to be a mess. Everybody should remain silent and let the lawyers do their job. I don't believe that the government proved their case. There's no need for R. Kelly to take the stand. I know he's not going to take the stand, but McDavid was saying, oh, I might take the stand. No, he don't need to take shit. He don't need to get up on there and fuck everything up. If McDavid gets on the stand, everybody's going to get convicted. He needs to stay off the stand, and I hope he understands that. The lawyers are doing a great job. They have all done a great job poking holes in the story. And what everybody needs to do is come to an agreement in their closing statements. R. Kelly has never been on tape with any underage girl. Roshana is lying. She told the truth 22 years ago because there's no way a man, a father, would sit up here and be friends with a man after he had sex with his daughter on camera. And then I, they need to turn to the jury and said, if a man has sex with your underage daughter on camera, would you continue to work with him for years? Would you go to concerts? Would you have him over your house? No, you wouldn't. That's how you know it's not her. And the government forced her to testify. And the government is lying. That's the reasonable doubt. That's the reasonable doubt right there. Because they're going to have it in their head. But if, it's my, if it was my child, I wouldn't want nothing to do with a man like that. So maybe it's not the right girl. Maybe this girl was grown. And she said it wasn't her 22 years ago. And she said it wasn't her for all these years. And all of a sudden she switched up. Because she wanted something from the government. And I think if they hammer that home, he gets acquitted on Roshana. Because right now that's the only thing that's really shaky. I feel like... They haven't really put that out there yet. They haven't really put that out there yet. And 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 that's how they get to an acquittal on Roshana. Because I think I, I think that the jurors already don't like these accusers. They already don't like these accusers. So 
to push him in the right direction. You're going to have to give him a little bit more reasonable doubt. And these closing arguments need to be tight. They need to specifically say, the R. Kelly is not guilty. He deserves to be acquitted. The Rev. McDavis need to, attorney need to say, none of these men are guilty. Everybody needs to be acquitted, and so does Milton June Brown. That's everybody need to be on the same accord. I hope they all sit down and read each other's closing statements so that it all line up so that the jury isn't confused. That's what they need to be doing. Because if R. Kelly get convicted, you know McDavid going to get convicted. And if McDavid get convicted, R. Kelly gets convicted. So they all need to work together for these closing statements to make sure everything lines the fuck up. Today, in a few minutes, I say about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, we're going to have minor six, Brittany, who I believe to be Brittany Edwards, take the stand. And we're going to have minor three, Meyer, take the stand. And they're going to say they had sex with Roshana. And threesomes with Roshana. None of this is proven. But they're going to say, hey, I had sex with Roshana. If I was uh, Jennifer Bonjean, I don't know who I would bring. I don't know what they have, but she might have a strategy that we don't know about. I want to know who she's going to bring. I guess she could bring a guy from the tape, the, 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 the forensic expert. I think that's going to be a witness. A forensic expert to say that the tape ain't real or something like that to really drive home about Roshana's tapes because that's where they're going to be arguing about. The jury going to be arguing about Roshana. They're not going to be studying Pauline and Brittany and Maya and none of these other bitches. They're going to be arguing about whether or not Roshana was on that tape. And that's where the focus needs to be. Disproving that Roshana was on the tape. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, all of these whores are dirty liars. No matter what happens, if they convict R. Kelly next week or if they set him free, I'm going to still rock with him. I'm really praying for an acquittal. An acquittal in Chicago will help him so much because then that would help his appeal. That would help him for his appeal if he gets an all-out acquittal. I'm hoping somebody on the jury will feel like, well, he just got convicted in New York. He got 30 years, so we might as well acquit him here. And then hopefully they'll acquit him in Chicago, and then he get his conviction overturned and he come home. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want R. Kelly free. You're not locking up the extortionists. You're not locking up the parents. You're not locking up anybody else. He is the only target. All these people have gotten on the stand and say, yes, I extorted him. Yes, I stole the tapes. Yes, I'm a liar. Charles Freeman was the worst witness I ever seen in my life. And so was this uh, Simna Jameson. Yeah, I suck dick, sucking dick or fucking. You dirty whore. And, this, and she's someone's mother? She's someone's mother? Oh, my God. Nobody presented any proof they had sex with R. Kelly. Anybody could just walk off the street and say, I had sex with R. Kelly in 95, and right away people just believe him. It's sad. It's sad. R. Kelly is the only victim. None of these 40-year-old women should be called minors. All I see is 40-year-old women taking the stand. These 40-year-old women, grown women, with children of their own, taking the stand and acting like they're victims when they're not, when they were lying about their ages and trying to extort, lying and saying they were younger than what they are so they could appear to be a victim so they could get some more money in the lawsuit. It ain't working that way. It ain't working that way. I wish nothing but pain for these people for everything they put R. Kelly through. You know. 
You federal informant whores. Fuck all y'all. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, and fuck anybody who don't like him.